Welcome back to the Pile tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at the Pilot API, which is the secret sauce that makes developing a pilot possible. Let's have a look at our sample pilot. We already had a look at the setup function, which is the function that is called from the Pile instance when your micro frontend is loading. In this function, you can do everything you want to do for actually ensuring that you mount at the right points in your application shell. For this, the application shell provides a set of functions. All the functions are aggregated on the pilot API, which is transported as the single argument into the setup function. We usually just call this argument app as a shorthand for application shell. Now you've already seen the register tile this comes from an extension that is always available from a standard Pyrel instance. There are a few other things that are always present, like for instance, get data or set data or on, off, and emit. On, off, emit are all for events. Now, one thing you will potentially need is register page. It's also one of the standard APIs. So what you can do is you can register a route, let's call it sample, and you can give it a component. A component can be any kind of React component. Now we can import this. And we can just pass it on. Great. Let's save it. Let's run pilot debug. And it's done. Let's have a look. Great. Where is our page? We only see the tile. Well, we need to go there. I think it was at sample. And here it is. Right now the experience is maybe not so good. I mean, it's a single page application, but we need to have the deep link in order to access it. Now what we could do is we could just make this a link. And as you can see, there is no magic in Pyro. It's just a standard React router link. Save it. And now this works too. There are a couple more things. Everything you know from the standards you can do here too. Let's say we don't want our page to be always present. Actually, it should just load when it's required. So we can introduce React Lazy. We will hear more about React Lazy in a later tutorial. For now, all you need to know is that this now works out of the box. You get the lazy loading experience that we just saw. Great. Maybe there is another option. Let's register another tile. And let's say we want to remove the first tile. Let's make a link for this or let's call it a button. Whenever you see register APIs, there is always an unregister. This follows the standard symmetric experience. So what we could do is we could just call unregister. Now we need to give it a name. Unfortunately, we don't have a name here. However, we can set a name. Let's just call this first tile. And let's therefore unregister the first tile. And we just remove the first tile here. So now that we know how to actually link and how to actually work with the register APIs, what about data? Data is also something that you may want to have under control. Pyro brings a lot of plugins to help you with data. You're not forced to use any of these plugins. You can also write your own plugins or use your own mechanism, whatever you want to. Let's have an example of dynamically loading posts and showing them here in our sample page. What we could demand is that we pass in some kind of data. And that this data is then used in a list. Let's just say that our data is a list of posts. 
and um, then what we could do is that we just set the key to the ID of the post and that the post title should just be displayed here. So far so good. Now obviously that doesn't work because a standard page doesn't have a data attribute. However, we have a simple thing called create connector here. Now what we could do is we could say, yeah, whenever the connector is required, All right, so let's have a look at this example where we don't go against an API, but we just fake the call and we say after a second, let's just return foo with ID five. So let's have a look at the experience in the browser. Let's go in here, it takes one second. Now the page is here. So at this point in time, the data is just loaded and um, will persist here. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look how we can customize the pilot API.